today I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to make diaper cakes or baby shower cakes. I've heard them called both ways. Personally I call them diaper cakes, but yeah. I wanted to just show you a quick tutorial on how I personally make them. And it's really up to you on how simple or how elaborate you want to decorate them and such and how much or how little you want to spend on them. Of course, when you need when you're going to make a diaper cake, you're going to need some diapers. Um how it re it's really up to you how many you use. Um and it doesn't matter what size you use. I prefer um, the infant size to size one. Um, some various sized hair ties such as these or these headband length or you can use rubber bands. It's up to you. Some decorative ribbon to cover up the rubber bands or hair ties if you want. Some scissors of course. You need a base, although it's up to you. You can either use a small platter like this or a pizza platter or almost anything. You can even use poster board. And you're also going to need some decor something you can decorate with such as little toys such as this bathtub thing or this little change holder. Some baby products such as butt paste, shampoo, lotion, baby powder, teethers, bibs, or even um, any t almost anything you can think of. You can even use swaddlers to wrap up the base if you want, or even some little pushpin flowers such as this. So your imagination's the limit on this. You can also get a mason jar or even some sort of or some sort of container that the parents can use after the fact to put even like these little products in and just set it in the center and put the diapers around it and cover it up if you want. To get started, um, you are going to want to roll up the diapers. I am currently using size 2 Huggies diapers, just basic Disney, nothing fancy. Um, and when you roll them up, I start from the top of the diaper, and I want the back of the diaper to show when it's rolled up. So I start from the top, and I just roll down to the bottom of the diaper and you can see how Mickey and Minnie are showing there. I like to have the little design showing. And then you're going to take your hair tie and wrap it around like, like so. And you can even wrap it around twice if you want to, but I don't like the way that looks. So I just wrap it around like that. And then you're just going to keep on doing that until you've rolled up all the diapers in the box that you've bought or how many however many diapers that you want in the diaper cake by the end so just keep doing that until you're done this part is where um the bigger hair ties are going to come in handy what you're going to do next is you are going to start um, actually assembling the diaper cakes together. Now if you're going to put something in the center as a, um, as a stabilizer or something, such as a mason jar or even a small flower pot or something, go ahead and put that in the middle. But for right now, I'm not going to use that. Or even if you don't want to put anything in the middle and you want something to stabilize it, you can use um, 
a long stick or something from the craft store or something like that. But first of all, if you're not going to do that, you're just going to go ahead, take three diapers, like so, and put them together in a triangle formation like this. And you're going to take one of the regular hair ties, regular sized hair ties, and you are going to put it around those three diapers so they stay together and place them in the middle like so. Once you've done that, you are going to start placing the other diapers that you have rolled up around those three diapers, which can be difficult to do, so you might want to have somebody help you with this because it can take more than one hand if you're not used to doing this. If you're having trouble, you can also start, you can go ahead and put one of the headband hair tie, headband sized hair ties and wrap it around and just insert the diapers that way and it certainly makes it a lot easier to manage that if you go ahead and do that. Once you are done with the bottom layer, you are going to start the second layer the same way with just putting together three diapers and you are basically going to do the same thing with the second layer as you did with the first layer. And I think the third layer is the easiest because you are just going to plop the three you're just going for the top layer you're just going to have the three um that base trio on the top now it's really up to you how many tiers you do and how tall you want it and whatnot so that's really up to you I prefer the three tiers, so yeah. Once you are done with that, you are, you're going to go ahead and put some ribbon around the center of each tier where the rubber bands are because the hair ties don't look all that attractive unless you want those to show. So when you go to put the ribbon around, you want to you want to measure around the width of the bottom layer and then some if you want to make a bow, which I've already um, measured it. So you're going to wrap it around the center where the hair ties are. I'm not even getting it in the shot, am I? And then, it's hard to do it th at this angle, but you're gonna just go ahead and tie it a little tightly so the base stays together a little better. And you can go ahead and single knot it if you would like to do that. And I'm not very good at making bows, but you can just do a little simple bow and I'll fix that to make it a little more pretty full later. I didn't make the ribbon long enough of course and I'm going to do that with the next two layers. You can also get a swaddler or some sort of fabric or make even make a little baby blanket and wrap the base and the rest of the layers that way. As you can see, I have gone ahead and um, and I've wrapped the center tier with a swaddler I made. And um, I essentially just wrapped it like you would any cylindrical shaped um, 
gift, like Christmas present or um, birthday present, and I wrapped some ribbon around it, and I just went ahead and wrapped some ribbon around the top tier. You don't have to, you can, it doesn't matter how you do it, but now that you have that part done, you can go ahead and start decorating it with the little toys that you got such as a rubber ducky you can pin it on i need don't have any pins with me but could set that on top or just basically decorate it however you feel necessary um and yeah i will put some pictures of some of the other diaper cakes that i have made to give you some other ideas it doesn't matter how you decorate it it's entirely up to you I also make diaper cakes as a business so I will leave my website down in the description and you can go check it out at your own leisure I hope this was informative and helpful for the future and here are some pictures of some other diaper cakes that I have made.